And it made me wonder about the Clean Air Act. When in the world did it start? So um, I went and poked around a little bit. I was a little bit surprised to hear the Clean Air Act. You have the internet there in Oklahoma? What's that? You have the internet there in Oklahoma? We do. Wow. That's a hustle. Well, here's the way it works. We've got 55 million prairie dogs running around in a circle, (laughs) and it churns an engine. Is that what it is? Then cause an electric signal to a satellite and then we get internet. So is that is are those prairie dogs are those are those considered clean energy and are they renewable? Clean, absolutely. As long as you feed them, they are renewable. Okay. All right. So you better be careful with that because didn't like Taiwan or somebody get in trouble because they were using monkeys to pick coconuts or something like that. <laughs> no, I, think I didn't I did not see that news. <laughs> I, I I maybe I dreamt that. I don't know. Don't don't <laughs> oh my goodness. But you know, the Clean Air Act started in 1963. Okay. That goes, goes back a lot further than I thought. I didn't know really. Yeah, no, it really is because I remember acid rain being an issue as 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 a kid, and I would have guessed mid to late 70s was when the Clean Air Act would have hit. It says on the EPA website, uh, the Clean Air Act of 1963 was the first federal legislation regarding air pollution control. It established a federal program within the U.S. Public Health Service and authorized research into techniques for monitoring and controlling air pollution. So that's the origin. That's the origin of it. 